Hello, welcome. Question number 34 upward of the Ghana teacher line sexual examination. The objective test questions under numeracy. So there are P boys and Q girls in a classroom. Each person had two textbooks. So which of these instructions provided in the option represent the total number of textbooks carried to the class? So let's just imagine that there are two boys. And they say each person is carrying what? Two textbooks. So for the boys, what will be the total number of books carried? It means first person take two, second person take two, two plus two is what? Four. Better still, two groups of two, meaning two times two. So if we put P in place of the two, you know it's going to be P times the textbook two. That will be for the boys. Similarly, for the girls, it will be the number of girls multiplied by number of books give you the total number of books carried by the girls. All right, that is one aspect. The second aspect is find the total number of people in the class. How many are they? If they are two boys and three girls, you will be talking about five. How do you get a five? Two plus three, right? So P plus three give you total number of people or better still students. So I'll be having P plus Q mean the total number of people in the class. So if each of them is taking two books, it means I'll multiply the total number of people by two in order to get the number of books being carried that day. And in that case, our options, the A give way to our answer. This has nothing to do with the question at all, nothing to do with the question, and this definitely has nothing to do with the question. We can't multiply the people before multiplying by the number of books. No, we can only add to get the total. Question 34, 35. How many degrees does a minute hand of a clock turn through from 6.20 a.m. to 7 o'clock a.m. on the same day? So we're looking for degree that we are looking for. In this case, we have to know the, the minute or the, the movement of the minute hand from the 6.20 up to 7 o'clock. And I believe that will give us 20 minutes, uh, 40 minutes. If you add 40 minutes to this, it gives you 7 o'clock. All right. So since we are relating minutes with degrees, we have to know predestined calculation of minutes to degrees in a clock. When the clock is having a minute hand traveling from here all the way to this, it will have a degree of 360 degrees. We know the movement, complete resolution in a circle is 360 in degree. So that's a degree. Now, when the minute hand also moves, it is moving from zero all the way back to this place. And that is going to be 60 times. And this 60 is going to be a minute. So the minute hand is moving 60 minutes to give us one hour. So if 60 minutes is giving you 360, you can be able to tell how many degrees would a 40 minute give you. So I'll be having, if in this case, I know that 60 minutes will be able to give me a 360 degrees, then your 40 minutes will give you more than that or less than that. 60 is giving you 360. 40 is going to give you less because somewhere you are not going to have a complete movement, but all the way from here to somewhere here. So your degree must be less than 360. Don't forget, if this were to be in section B, you have to also prove or show how you get a 40 minute by subtracting 620 from 7 o'clock to produce this before this ratio begin. So I'll be talking about if more, less divide. If less, more divide. So 40 minutes over 60 minutes times 360 degrees. And this can take care of themselves. 6 will go into this. 6 times times 10, 60. 4 times 6, I believe that is 240 with, I mean, 4 times 6 will be 24 times the 10, give you 
240. So this is the degree that the minute hand will move when traveling from 6.20 to 7 o'clock a.m. Question 36. Mansa obtained 150 marks out of 240 marks in a mathematics test. So what was her percentage score? You're looking for a percentage score. Don't forget, this is going to be a fraction. Percentage is always a fraction times 100%. So what's the fraction of mark obtained here? You are taking a fraction is just out of a whole number or taking a, a part out of the whole. So this part is taken out of this whole, meaning that in this case, I'll be having 150 as part of the max obtained out of 240 max. So this is the fraction of max you obtain in the exam hall. To convert this into a percentage, you multiply by your 100% in order to convert this back into percentage. So this We'll take care of this. Let's use some factors to cancel. I think three can go here five times and go here eight times. And another factor of four, going here two, go here 25. Therefore, five times 25, 125% divided by two. This guy will go here six times. It will go here two times. Remember that one. Which will be point 0.1 with the zero give us five percent. So it means the percentage of mark obtained in that mathematics class exam will be sixty two point five percent, or better still, sixty three percent. Question thirty seven. What is the next term in the pattern we are seeing? This is the pattern given to us. Four minus four is zero. Four minus three is one. 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 0 is what? Uh, 4. So the next term here, something minus something to give us 5. So I'll be having 4 minus. We can see that the second term is decreasing by 1, while the first term remains the same. Decrease by 1, 3, by 1, 2, by 1, 1, by 1, 0, by 1 negative 1. So the only thing we are looking for is 4 minus negative 1 equals to what? 5. And that is the answer. On the possible, uh, on the options, your answer is 4 minus negative 1 equals to 5, which is true. This will cancel to give you the 5 you are looking for. Question 38. It takes 15 men an average of 48 days to weed a plot of land? How many men can weed the same plot of land in 16 days if they work at the same rate? So we know this is a ratio and proportion question, or let's just say proportion question. Now, under proportion, we have a direct proportion and indirect proportion. Your ability to be able to digest the question, know whether it is direct or indirect, help you to be able to produce answer to the question. All right, so we are going to look at this. We are having men. So let me use men and we are having days. The men, we have 15, we have 48. The men is unknown, the days is known. So for you to be able to use the proportion well, you have to know whether it's direct. Direct, if one quantity increase, the order will also increase along. If one quantity decreases, the order also decreases. But in the indirect, is the opposite. One is increasing while the order is decreasing. The first one is decreasing, the order is increasing. So let's check. The main is 15, 48. The days has been decreased. So if the, the main will also decrease, it means we are having a direct proportion. But if the main increases, it means this is indirect proportion. And how do we get that? Ask yourself, if 15 of you are working in a room, you are reading, you, if you need 48 days. You are reading every day up to 48 days. Now, if they decrease the days to 16 days, 
and you are asked to work the same uh, rate without increasing your speed or decreasing your speed, will you be able to finish in uh, 16 days? Something you need 48 days to do. Will you be able to finish in what, 16 days? I think you can't. So for you to be able to finish fast, what do you do? You need more men, more hands on deck. So here, what do we do? We are just going to say that I'll begin with the known, which is the two. So if 48 days will be work, or a work will be done in 48 days by 15 men, I expected to see that 16 days will require more men. So if more legs among the days, divide the less is 16 so i'll have my 48 over 16 you know the days over days will cancel so i'll multiply by 15 men where in this case our common factor is going to be four so four here four four here 12 then if you multiply 12 by 15 i guess you get 180 men divided by what four and if you are using that 2 will go into 180 90 times. 2 will go into 4 2 times. 90 times divided by 2 will give you 45 men. You can use calculator or a cancellation by 2 to be able to get into your answer. So this is going to be a number of men that will be able to work at the same rate using 16 days. I believe the concept of this is clear. Thank you for watching. I know by now you've not liked the video. You have not uh, thought of commenting. Comment, subscribe, and share. Come back to this piece from question 39 upward. Bye-bye.